Hi Gemini, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. As always, it's going to be general, which means it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading with me if you want. And all that information is in the description box. Okay. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, let's see what is going on with Gemini in May. What are the overall energies? All right, we have recognition and reinvention. All right, so somebody is recognizing something within this connection. Um, <laughs> that was Mannix. Um, and possibly seeing seeing a certain aspect of this connection in a different type of a way. There's something that they're recognizing, which is also creating the sense of a reinvention, seeing things from a different and from a new type of a perspective, um, something being different because of that recognition. So this could be you, this could be them. We will see. So, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May, first half of May, 2021. All right. So for the situation, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Seven of Wands. All right, so <clears throat> I feel like either you or your person is trying to heal. Um, I'm going to assume that this is you. You're trying to heal from something, but there's something that is actually blocking a little bit that, that healing. I feel like there might be something that is causing you to feel a little bit defensive maybe. Um, definitely could be your person though, okay? So take it as it resonates. So I do feel like there's some defensiveness here, which is actually blocking the full recovery or a full healing of a particular situation. Let's see the recent past. We have the star for the near future. We have the ten of cups. All right. <clears throat> there was definitely something here in the past that you had been you or they had been wishing for. And I actually feel like this may be a person that you were together with at some point. Maybe you still are, okay? Because I'm not necessarily seeing a separation. Um, although it could be, all right? It could be either or. So I feel like there was definitely though a time where you felt like things were healing. And maybe there were aspects of this connection that actually did heal and things did feel like they were moving in a direction of of just, you know, everything coming together, basically. Let's see what's going on in your energy here. We have the Ten of Wands for them. We have the Six of Swords, more about you. We have the Three of Swords for them, the Fool. And potential outcome here is the King of Pentacles. And the message for you is the Eight of Swords. All right, so... <clears throat> Okay, so it doesn't feel like you are in the best of energies at the moment. I feel like you are feeling possibly very tired by a situation, you're feeling burdened by it, maybe you feel like you have carried a lot of the struggle on your shoulders um, by a specific situation, and it's getting to the point where you want to release this. <clears throat> and that could be where this healing is coming into play. Um, I feel like at the same time though, you're feeling a lot of pain because of that. There's a lot of pain that is attached to this. And I basically, I feel like you want to release that pain, you want to heal from it, but there's something here that you're kind of blocking out and it might even be your own, your own emotions. It might even be the recognition of these feelings in order for there to be a reinvention. All right, so that could be what those first cards were about. Although I do feel like there is a recognition of some sort in this and we will find where that is. Um, for your person, it's interesting because I feel like your person is, um, 
is actually a little bit in the opposite type of an energy here. They're moving away from conflict. They're moving towards a calmer state of being. They're moving towards something more peaceful. It's like they're leaving things in the past. Whereas I feel like you're still carrying some of these um, burdens with you. So we'll, we'll see more when we get into it. And again, I mean, don't forget the roles can be reversed. I also see your person here taking a risk maybe, um, taking a leap of faith, trying something new, moving towards the unknown by, by doing whatever it is that they're doing here. We do have love though coming up, all right, because we have the Ten of Cups, so that's actually quite a twist. Um, especially when it comes to your energy with that Ten of Cups being there in the near future and then the King of Pentacles being the potential outcome here and that's stability, that's commitment. <clears throat> that's things being um, stable, things being grounded. So I do feel like you're just processing certain um, experiences right now that are ultimately leading you to that to that happiness and to that stability. So we'll see, because we also have the Eight of Swords as the message here for you. So I feel like, you know, you might be a little bit um, stuck in your head, which is very Gemini-like, it can happen <laughs> um, quite often. So it might be that you're overanalyzing certain things and that that is what is keeping you blocked from reaching this place of feeling more healed and more balanced within yourself. So let's start clarifying. Let's see. Let me clarify the Four of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Alright, we have the Chariot, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, so... Yeah, you know, it feels like you might be trying really hard to control your emotions and maybe you're trying to set yourself on a new path, but I feel like you might be trying to um, rush the process or just trying too hard to control what it is that you feel. And this could be what is blocking you, all right? Um, again, could be your person, but I'm mostly feeling like this is you. So I feel like you're just being called to be a little bit more patient and a little bit more accepting of what your true emotions are. What is it that you are truly feeling about a particular person, about a situation, about whatever, whatever this is about, even if it's about a new path <clears throat> that you want to go on um, either independently or with another person, it doesn't matter. I actually want to clarify the star in the recent past. I don't always clarify the past, but for you, I feel like I want to. All right, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, so there is a lot of disappointment. I feel like there was um, a situation here where, you know, again, it felt like this is what you really wanted. You felt like everything was going to be fine. You thought that, you know, um, everything was just going to work out and that it would be a wish fulfillment. I do feel like there was, as I said, some healing here as well. But I feel like it all led to some disappointment um, and a lot of a lot of grief in this particular situation. Now, for some of you, this could even be um, a different situation than the person that we're seeing here. It just take it as it resonates. All right, so let's see the Ten of Wands for your energy. All right, the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. All right. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this is you. There's a, there's a bit of a waiting energy, okay? So either... I feel like it's going to be at least two different types of scenarios here um, and very, very general. So either you were waiting for someone, for the other person to make a shift, all right, when it comes to love, to turn the wheel in a new direction because things obviously, you know, there was this disappointment in the past. And so you were just waiting and waiting and waiting. And because of that waiting and because it felt like you were the one doing all the work, that's how this is coming through. Um, you 
you got to this point where you are you are disappointed right you are feeling exhausted you are feeling tired of carrying all of that burden always being the one to put in the effort and just waiting for the other person either to make a decision possibly between um, two different situations here for some of you or just to choose love or to just turn the direction of this connection in a different way um, it, so it could even be that you felt like this connection wasn't being recognized by this um, by the other person all right now for others of you I feel like it is you who was actually stalling and procrastinating on turning that wheel in a new direction turning this towards towards love okay so you would know um, which situation is yours all right um, either way, I feel like there's there's waiting on your end, whether it's waiting for your own self and procrastinating or whether it was waiting for the other person. Um, in if, if you're in the second group, or if you're cross-watching and your person is in the second group, um, you're tired. You're tired with your own self of carrying this burden of not taking control. And so that could even be why right now it feels like you're trying to rush it in a way, kind of like to make up for lost time. Or you're trying to really control how you feel to make this process easier for you. And it just, you know, it's, it's like we can't really do that. We can't really control how we feel. Our emotions are our emotions. And until we accept them and process them, it's kind of difficult to move on from there. Right, let me see the three of swords. All right, the Ten of Wands again, the Nine of Wands, give me one sec, <clears throat> and Strength. All right. So we have positives here and we have negatives here. Um, obviously, again, it feels like it's a very, very challenging time for you right now. So you're feeling... You're feeling that struggle. You're feeling the pain of it. You're seeing this whole situation as something very, very difficult. Um, and it, it is painful, whatever it is that, that you are going through. I feel like there is a decision here that needs to be made. And whether it is on your end or whether it is on your person's end, it's still something that is very difficult for you to cope with. All right, Even if it's your person, the one who needs to make a decision, it's hard for you to really um, process and cope with the fact that, you know, either that it's taken them so long, for example, it's painful. Or if it's the other way around, <clears throat> you're just having a hard time making that decision. And because you're now at your wit's end, you don't know, you feel like, you know, like this is something you just have to do. And because now it's like it's just kind of blowing up, right, you're feeling the challenge of it. It's like you cannot carry that burden anymore, all right? Either way, for either scenario. Now, the good news is that we do have strength here, all right? So I do see this as you being able to really find that courage, find that strength within you to actually overcome this regardless, all right? Like you are able to, to heal that Three of Swords energy, that pain, or whatever it is that needs to be healed. You do have that courage, that strength to really face your emotions, recognize what they are so that there can be this reinvention. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person here. Six of Swords. All right, look at that. So they have the Three of Swords too. Three of Swords, Death, and I don't know <clears throat> why the cards keep flying on the floor in your reading, and the Knight of Swords. So yeah, this is, see, your person is moving, moving forward. They're moving to a calmer state of being. They have this pain too. That pain is there, all right? But for whatever reason, they're able to kind of um, <clears throat> process it in a way where they can leave it behind. It's like they can put an end to that in some regards. Does that mean that they're necessarily moving away from you? No, I don't necessarily see that. I just see this as them healing and overcoming that pain at the moment and maybe it's for a different situation all right what, whatever it's something that's going on with them here 
all right, whether it's in regards to you or, or a different situation, they're putting their pain behind and moving forward. And that's why there is a shift on their end, which I feel is helping them to recognize also what is really going on here also with the connection with you. And I feel like they're doing this pretty quickly actually with the Knight of Swords being here. Um, and then we also have the Fool. So let's see the Fool. I mean, this ending could be something else, especially if there is um, another situation that they're involved with. It could definitely be that, because I don't see it necessarily as that being in terms of you. All right, so clarifying the Fool, we have the Ace of Wands and the Magician. They're taking a leap of faith in order for there to be some kind of a reconnection here. Um, they're really manifesting something new. And it almost feels like, you know, they're, it's like they're on board, but are you? Um, unless it's that you don't want this, but I kind of feel like you do and that you're just kind of tired of it. So maybe you don't trust it. Uh, maybe, you know, the pain for you right now is just too much and you're just like, well, now, after I've been waiting for so long, I don't know if I want it. All right, if that's for those of you that are in the first group that I was talking about. Um, either way, this person is really moving forward. I mean, I'm seeing that reinvention big time here. For them, at least. And I feel like... You're moving in that direction too, but just in a different way. I feel like you ha you each have different things to process. I feel like you're dealing with a different type of pain than they are. And um, yeah, it just so happens that at the moment they're, they're able to overcome that pain. It could be something that was um, there from their past. It could be whatever. But they're definitely trying to manifest something new here. And I do feel like it has to do with you. Um, <clears throat> with that Ace of Wands. or Because that does, to me, it talks about a, reignit a reignition of a pre-existing connection. Or having a new start. So... Alright, let's see what's coming up. Let's see the Ten of Cups. Got quite a bit here. All right, we have the sun, the moon, the knight of cups, and the ten of cups again. All right, I feel like there's something here that there's this huge potential for happiness here, okay, between the two of you. I mean, the ten of cups coming up twice to me, this is saying, yeah, you know, it's definitely there on your end and it's definitely there on their end as well. So I definitely don't feel like this is them leaving you behind or ending, you know, the connection with you at all, actually. Um, we have the Ten of Cups here twice, all right? And we have the Sun. So definitely, I feel like something is coming up. This this window is popping up, all right, to show you happiness. And I feel like, it, like I said, it goes both ways. It's also for them. I do see that there is some kind of an offer coming in here with the Knight of Cups or at least an opening up to love or an offer possibly um, coming through in whatever form, all right? But I feel like there's some fears here and I have a sense that it's on your end, all right, with the moon where you might be doubting this. You might not really believe it. You might not really feel like this is true. Um, you might feel like things are being hidden or that you're just not sure of whether or not this is real or whether it will actually bring you happiness. Now, if this reading is resonating with you so far, I mean, I'm seeing here that definitely it is. I mean, Ten of Cups twice in the sun. And again, I feel like with that moon, you know, it's um, it's repressed emotions that are keeping you back because, because they have not been allowed to come up to the surface because there was that blocking them out, which is preventing you from healing, possibly... I don't, I don't know what it could be. It could be trust issues for some of you. Um, it could be different things. It could be different things. But whatever it is, I feel like it's repressed emotions that have not come up to be healed. 
And so I feel like that's the message here for you is to allow your feelings to come up, allow yourself to feel them, don't try to control them, don't try to just um, block them out. And then you will be able to make a decision that will be more objective. All right, so let's see the King of Pentacles for the potential outcome. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of movement here. There's a lot of communication. I feel like this communication is going to be very, very clear. Um, and just a lot of action coming your way, which is quickly bringing this stability. So I do feel like, you know, it's this is the potential, all right? It's a potential outcome, but it's really going to depend on you and, you know, the doubts that you have and how you think of this. and really, you know, also what it is that you truly want. Um, but I see this coming in and I feel like it's going to be something very, very stable, very secure, very um, determined with a lot of um, clear communication. All right, so with the Eight of Swords as the last, I don't even need to clarify this. It's like so clear. This is what I've been saying all along, you know. Um, it's really all about, you know, re um, releasing those fears from inside you so that you can see the truth clearly and then be able to make a decision or a discernment about this situation. All right. Yeah. So there's a, a recognition is definitely needed when it comes to your emotions and to what is really going on, because that is what would lead to a reinvention of this connection in a new way where it's not based on fear, where it's not based on pain, where it's not based on this moon type of an energy of illusions. All right, so Gemini. If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did resonate, let me know. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Exactly what I've been talking about. <laughs> so yeah, take that as it resonates. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for watching and much love.